What's up guys, it's Kyle from Newell Strength located in Hillsborough, New Jersey. Um, and, and one of the things we specialize over at my facility, my gym, um, is something that's always been a huge passion of mine is nutrition slash fat loss. Um, I'd say 90% of our adult clients come to us for fat loss reasons, but there's a couple of things and I've got notes right behind the camera that you can't see and not for this purpose but we're going to be giving a presentation in a few weeks at Newell Strength uh, based on fat loss and mindset and how they tie together. So if you look at the most successful dieters in the world they eat the same thing over and over and over the same meals. Now what they're doing really is they've taken the thought out of the process. This has become a habit and to lose fat these things have to become habit. If you're using willpower it's not habit you'll never create uh, sustained fat loss or achieve any real transformation. Now remember, transformation is when change, which is temporary, becomes permanent. So uh, when you're trying to, to form a habit, you've got to make small changes, okay? They can't be, you know, 10 changes uh, at once. You can't bring me a diet, and I used to do that, but if you brought me your diet and I give you something that's not... 180 degrees opposite of what you're doing, you're going to fail. You might be able to grunt it through for a week, maybe two weeks. And willpower, guys, it's finite. The part of the brain that's in the prefrontal cortex, very limited, very finite. That's why if you're going to use willpower, such as when I did my bodybuilding show, tell other people what you're going to do about your goals and use their willpower because they're going to ask you about it and it kind of creates a reserve for you. Um, but again, know that, you know, just like when I did my my last bodybuilding shows, any bodybuilding shows, anything like that, that that's willpower. And that's going to be a change and it's going to be really intense over a short period of time, but it's not permanent. It's not transformation. You go back to where you were. You know, I'm back to my normal physique now. Um, and, and that's willpower that's ex at a it's extreme you know if you look at bodybuilders they can diet and run their way through it for 16 weeks or so but that's that's about the max uh, that you're going to get out of willpower so that's not what you're after you're after true fat loss um, and with that take the thought out of it so find a way to have the food ready to go if you, if it comes to meal time and you don't know what you're eating so that's a or you don't have the food prepared that's b one or the other or both if you're at that level um, you're going to fail because you're going to take what's most convenient and you're going to kind of eat what what the body needs. And a lot of times that stuff like sugar, that that's uh, things that might have magnesium if you're magnesium deficient. And the reason is a lot of us are too stimulated. So we're going to grab foods, those comfort foods that calm us down, release serotonin. So that's a whole other video. I'll make note to do that next week. But remember with fat loss, take the thought out of it small changes. There's a quote I put in the last newsletter, then I'll be out, it is from Orson uh, Sweat Martin, old time author who wrote a lot of self-help books, but he talked about how when a habit starts, it's an invisible thread. And then as, as you keep repeating the pattern, kind of making those pathways in the, in the brain, he didn't say that, but that's what he's talking about, it becomes like a steel cable. So that's what you're after. It's going to be invisible at first, it's going to be tough, it's going to be scary, it's going to be frustrating small changes. That's how you achieve fat loss. Peace.